Hey, it's Johnny Jones and I'm here at home and last week I made a video on like a CB guide for beginners and I had said people I said to people that I had an SWR guide already on my channel what I'd forgot is I had completely deleted it because I didn't think it was up to par so I decided to make another one and for my regulars who are like come on another beginner video I do have an interesting antenna build that I'm working the kinks out of right now so stay tuned for that it should be up in the next uh, few days so, SWR. Um, let's not talk about what it is right well. Actually, let's start with what it is. So when you hook this meter up, you're gonna have a don't mind the coffee. You're gonna have a calibrate button. That's right here. It's like a if you got a calibrate knob, right? And now this is your forward voltage and your reflected voltage. So what that means is your forward voltage is a voltage that you're sending through your antenna. If there's an issue with your antenna, if it's too short, or if something's wrong with your counterpoise, what'll happen is it'll bounce back this voltage that's higher than your calibrated voltage. So you calibrate to the voltage you're sending, and if there's any voltage, any extra reflected voltage that's higher than that, it'll show on your meter, right? So, basically like a three to one swr which a three would be right there you see that where it's in the red just started on the red a three to one swr would be analogous to a four watt out and one watt reflected back not good don't do that you don't want it to be three you don't want it to be a two if it is a two you can deal with it but preferably you want it to be a two or, or under two just so you're radio is happy you do not want to burn your radio up it will blow your radio up if you do not make your make your swr low enough or that's not a good way to, to put it if you don't get your swr low enough so with that being said you probably are like well sure that's great and all how do i use it all right fine we'll cut to the chase there are a couple different S uh, swr meters this one is an swr meter that i'm going to be using for the demonstration but it's got a few extra buttons on it. I didn't want to use that initially because I wanted to show you what a basic one looks like. This is a basic micron to meter. It has your forward voltage, which you would calibrate to. So you would put it in the forward position and calibrate it until this needle hits that calibration point. Then, while keying your mic, you have to be keying your mic when you do this. Of course, you would be holding your mic in the forward position, calibrating it to the calibration point then flipping it to reflect it and if it drops all the way down under two you're good i'll show you that in a minute now the setup i have here is with a bnc connector to a walkie-talkie this is just my little buddy it helps me out with a lot of demonstration purposes but i thought that might confuse you so i thought i'd teach you uh on a basic radio so what you're going to need is a patch cable now this comes with a lot of swr meters well, not a lot of them, but a few of them. You stay there. So this right here is absolutely necessary if your radio doesn't have an SWR meter installed. It has to be, you have to have a patch cable. I'll show you why. Stay up there. Your SWR meter, right there is kind of dirty, but this one's a busted one anyway. Your antenna goes here. Your SWR meter goes to your transmitter here via this patch cable. And of course, so let me show you on a basic radio, your patch cable would go right here. So even though it says antenna, that's not what you're doing. You're putting a patch cable here to the transmitter side. And then you're going to put your antenna right here on the antenna side. Now, if you were building an antenna, you would check SWR at the antenna feed point, but we're not. We're just getting into this, so check it right at the radio with this little patch cable. And don't get confused by that. So, radio, patch cable, antenna on the other side. Calibrate it by putting your forward, holding, keying your mic, and then calibrate it to the calibrate point. Flick it in reflected because you're seeing how much power is coming back. And like I said, if it's under 2 or 2, it's good. Pref preferably under 2. Let me show you what that looks like. So I have this set up, and like I said, I didn't want to show you how I set this up because it, it could be could confuse people. Basically, this is a BNC connector, and everything's hooked up the same way. 
So I turn it on. Now SWR will change based on what channel you're on. It'll it'll change from 1 to 40 because the frequency is changing and frequency affects SWR. But most of the time it should still be relatively good. If it's good on one channel, it'll be decent on most channels unless you have a high super high Q antenna. Ugh, I'm getting too technical with that. Don't worry about that. Most of the time it'll be good. So what you want to do is check it on 19. Which I can just do this right here. So that's the middle of the band. The middle of the band is where you want to check it first. And you would hold this down and go into the calibration mode, which right here, I go to calibrate. I said you are calibrating. And it's already calibrated, so I don't have to do this. Any, but if I, if I didn't have it calibrated, it would look like this. But I want it calibrated. There we go. Now, instead of having a switch like the other one on this one, we switch into SWR mode. And now, that's a reflected wave. It's 1.1. I had this into my dummy load, but my antenna is just as good. So that's a great antenna. Wonderful antenna. If it's under two, it's a wonderful antenna. So let's check it on. Hey, this is too loud, shit. I'm trying to be quiet because people are asleep. Okay, so on one. should be the same because I'm theoretically running this through a dummy load but but if you had this on an antenna which I probably should have done to show you the difference in, in frequency now that I think of it I don't know why I didn't do that but if you put it on 19 first then 1 then 40 you can check your SWR on each um, part of the band and what you would do with that information by the way calibrated each time every time you're on a different channel calibrate it again and um, basically it would just show you what the spread is of your SWR so it may be on channel 1 it's a 1.1 and on channel 40 it's a 2.1 right so if if that's the case you need to do some adjusting you know you need to do, to do some adjusting because you want the lowest point in the middle that way you have a nice even spread across the bands maybe a 1.5 on 1 Maybe a 1.5 on 40, a nice 1 to 1 on 19. I have to get a desk. And not that one over there, it's terrible. Anyways, so despite the clucky, ugly video, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, leave a like and comment and all that good stuff. And uh, subscribe to get notifications. Click that little bell thing. Ding, 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 ding. And, uh... To my regulars who had to sit through this boring, strange video, who was like, Come on, man, we know all this, and they're just yawning. Oh, God, I've just seen this all before. There's going to be a really interesting, interesting, hopefully, anyway, if it works, antenna video coming soon that may make things way, way, way more interesting for you guys that are looking to go outdoors and camping and stuff. For a really flexible, easy to put away antenna. This is Johnny Jones. I'm here at home. And I'll see you later.